Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to this morning's video. It's Monday at GazWebBiz.com, which can mean only one thing. Uh, yes, it is Europe Day. Every Monday at GazWebBiz.com, I have a look at the uh, weather for the coming week across the continent, and today is going to be no exception. Now, if we go with, before I get on with the video, uh, can I please explain the advertising? There's going to be ads on all my weather pages at GazWebBiz.com. You can click on those ads and go through to the advertiser if you're interested in uh, what the ad is showing. And by doing that, you're supporting GazWebBiz.com at the same time and thanks very much uh, for doing that uh, so this is the pressure chart for today uh, Monday the 22nd of April We've got low pressure up to the north of British Isles heading in uh, from Iceland to Scandinavia uh, we've got high pressure sitting down to the southwest uh, in the Atlantic ridging in uh, towards France a very zonal uh, westerly type uh, Atlantic dominated set up this with the jet stream coming across the Atlantic into Europe. We've got this ridge in the east that's bringing up some quite warm air in central parts of Europe. And we've got an area of low pressure uh, through the Mediterranean that will be producing some heavy showers around Italy. So for the upper air temperatures today, we've got some warm air coming in across England and Wales and some quite warm air uh, sitting there across France, down into Spain and Portugal. Also quite warm for those central parts of Europe, that's as the ridge in the east has brought that warmth up from the Mediterranean. But in the central base of the Mediterranean, it's actually quite cool. The upper air temperatures are a little bit below average. It's also cool up in the north of Europe around Scandinavia and stretching into uh, western Russia. So two distinct areas of precipitation today. We've got a heavy rain moving in towards Scandinavia and to the north of Scotland as well. Light and patchy rain on a warm front coming in across the British Isles. Light and patchy rain also uh, for northern and western parts of France. A bit of sausage of a dry uh, weather, a slice of dry weather uh, through much of Spain and Portugal, much of central uh, France in towards the low countries, Germany, uh, on in towards Poland as well. And then up to Scandinavia, lots of dry weather there. At least for Sweden, we've got rain coming into Norway, but for Sweden and Finland, a lot of dry weather and going down into the northeast of Europe as well. But then we come into this area of very heavy uh, showers, thunderstorms, longer spells of rain uh, through Italy uh, going over the Adriatic in towards the southeastern countries through the Balkans, down in towards Romania and through in towards Greece as well. Some really heavy showers and thunderstorms in that central portion of the Med and through into the south. It's got convected potential as well uh, through, through Italy and down into the southeast of Europe. Uh, could be some thunderstorms in that precipitation. Very little convective potential elsewhere. Uh, for temperatures, not too bad really across many parts of Europe, about where we should be into the mid to upper teens here for these western and central parts of Europe. Uh, rather cool over Scandinavia and it's also cool down across Italy where we've got those heavy thundery showers and storms. Really quite miserable actually those temperatures through Corsica and Sardinia. Temperatures there just into the low to mid teens and also for Italy as well. And then coming down into the southeast, temperatures are a bit better uh, but we have got the thunderstorms uh, down there. Now as we go into the middle of the week we're going to be looking at high pressure uh, really dominating through the central areas of the, the continent. Low pressure is still sort of flirting around in the uh, Mediterranean and we've also got low pressure still dominating to the north of the British Isles in towards the Scandinavia. So for the upper air temperatures so through the middle of the week, we're still quite cool across Scandinavia and down in towards Western Russia as well, also for Denmark, uh, really quite cool. Uh, cold air trying to come back in towards Scotland and Northern Ireland as well, but it'll push southwards uh, later on in the week. But through the central parts of uh, the Mediterranean, uh, the continent, uh, we've got a lot of dry weather just coming in, a lot of warm weather I should say, and quite dry weather under that ridge of high pressure just coming into southern England as well. And then we come down into the Mediterranean uh, where we've still got that low pressure uh, producing some rather cool conditions through the central areas of the Mediterranean. Um, so for precipitation through the middle of the week we've got rain, uh, quite heavy rain here over Scandinavia, uh, also some uh, precipitation coming down in towards the British Isles as well, particularly at north and west parts of British Isles. Lots of dry weather though through central parts of the continent, really the bulk of the continent will be dry, uh, the last of the thundery showers and storms uh, dying away in the southeast of Europe. I've been in an area of really heavy uh, rain coming into this central bowl of the Mediterranean uh, moving up from North Africa, so through uh, the Balearics through the middle of the week, uh, Mallorca, Minorca and Ibiza, there could be some really uh, heavy rain and thunderstorms uh, down there through the middle part of the week. 
Convective potential uh, for the middle of the week. Not much going on really because we're under a ridge of high pressure for uh, most of the corridor. But there could be some convection and about heavy rain uh, through the central bowl of the men. And the temperature's really quite warm through that uh, central part of the continent and about high pressure. We've got some warm air associated with it. Warm air also coming into the uh, British Isles, at least into southern areas of the British Isles also. Much, much colder up to the north and really quite cold and miserable uh, down in this south, uh, down in this southern uh, portion of the Mediterranean. Uh, uh, where we've got that heavy precipitation uh, moving up. But temperature stage of recovery for Italy and through the southeastern countries, possibly up to 25 degrees in some southeast areas and through uh, western France through the middle of the week. That's around uh, 77 Fahrenheit. As we move into the end of the week, we're going to find the ridge of high pressure uh, migrating out into the Atlantic. Uh, uh, heights are all building into the Atlantic which is going to change the pattern we bring down this northerly wind into the northwest it's going to turn much much colder for Britain and Ireland uh, staying cold for Scandinavia or cool for Scandinavia and low pressure taking over through these central areas uh, which will bring some very unsettled conditions uh, so through uh, the through to the end of the week we're going to be seeing much much colder air coming back in towards the British Isles and here comes the minus five isotherm once again also turning quite cold for many northwest parts of Scandinavia Iceland, bitterly cold, there could be a lot of snow uh, there at the end of the week. Uh, quite warm across many of these uh, central parts of the continent actually, uh, but uh, the high pressure is breaking down and low pressure is starting uh, to take over. So look how much precipitation we've got at the end of the week here. Lots of heavy rain through much of Germany, the low countries, down in towards uh, France, very wet across France. Uh, precipitation will be coming down through the British Isles as well and that could turn increasingly wintry across Scotland and maybe parts of North Northern Ireland. Also some heavy rain, some showers or longer spells of rain for many parts of Spain uh, through into the central portions of the Med, very unsettled as well, and the North Africa also. The driest weather at the end of the week will be in the east and the southeast, and that's where the highest temperatures uh, will be at the end of the week. Convective potential has uh, shown that we do have some uh, convective potential there through those central areas of the continent where we've got that heavy and uh, persistent rain going on. Uh, big north south split setting up by the end of the week in terms of the temperatures. Uh, in the north and the west, temperatures really very disappointing, barely into double figures, many parts of Britain, into single figures for Denmark and Scandinavia. Uh, conversely, in the uh, east and the southeast, it's going to get really quite hot. Uh, temperatures possibly up to 86, uh, uh, 86 Fahrenheit there, 30 degrees, would you believe, across some parts of the Balkans down in towards uh, southeast Europe. Greece, yes, could be up to 27, 28, 29, 30 degrees, a distinct possibility. So, all of the heat at the end of the week will be in the southeast and the east, uh, the cool and distinctly wet weather will be in the north and in the west of the continent. Uh, so it's looking like not a bad week really for many parts of the continent actually. High pressure going to take over for much of the week, uh, particularly in central parts. Going to get quite warm, hot by the end of the week actually in the east and the southeast. By which time the high pressure is breaking down. We're bringing down cold air from the north into the north and the west. Going to turn very unsettled across central areas with heavy rain and thunderstorms a distinct possibility. But the heat uh, will go on in the southeast. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.